What is up guys, it's Focus. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool warp slide transition. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab an adjustment clip, put it over your two clips, right click, open in Fusion. Next you wanna do is hit Control Space and type in displace and you're going to add two displace nodes just like that okay next you want to go to where your scene changes so that's going to be for me right about here Okay, so for the first displace node, you're going to go to type and then click X and Y. You're going to go to the X refraction, just add a keyframe, and another keyframe, one frame after that. and. You can want to figure out how long you want your slide to be. So for me, I'm just going to put it around 80. That seems about right. Now go to your second displace. And you're just going to kind of match it up. So you're going to overlap it with your other keyframes. So keyframe it. Go to X and Y, go to X refraction, one keyframe here, and another keyframe where it changes. And the last one, you, you just want to kind of eye it and see how long you, you want it to be. So I'm going to leave it around 150. Just like that. Okay, so next we're going to do the graphing. Okay, so we're going to start off with our first display so just click this out so we can only see the graph that's relevant to our first displace node now what you want to do is you want to go to your second keyframe and you want to set the x refraction all the way to negative 0.1 then you're going to go to your second displace node and you want to go to the second keyframe as well and set the X refraction all the way to positive 0.1. When you're done, your graph should look like this. Okay, so now we're going to start doing the curves. So again, start with the first displace node, highlight everything, we're going to make an ease out curve. Now go to the second one. Highlight the points. When you're done, it should look like this. Alright, so um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add two background nodes throw them on and connect each one to one of your displace nodes okay so you want to click on your first one go to gradient and for the first one we're not going to touch anything we're just going to leave it um, how it is black to white but on the second one we're going to switch it from white to black this is going to give us the warp effect. Alright, 
so once you're done you should see it warp like this all right so that's it um also if you want to add you can add some motion blur so you could just go to your displace um go to motion blur crank that all the way up or as much as you like See, now you got a little bit of motion blur. And there you go. There is your warp slide transition. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up on my Discord. The link to that will be in the description below. Until the next video, guys. Later.